Certainly, with 40 million people unemployed, 100,000 uh, Americans dead, um, a white nationalist in office. We're going to be um, demanding justice for Anthony McLean, along with Nafisa Kaba. Um, we want to bring light and bring awareness to not only Northwest Pasadena, but also to the world. Um, this is happening in our own backyard. Anthony McLean was shot and murdered by the police on August 15, 2020. New body camera video was released less than a week after a controversial and deadly police shooting. Protesters demonstrated again tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter live in Pasadena with a look at that video. As the individual did look at him, and so the officer fired likely because he was worried the individual was probably going to turn to fire at him. Authorities say a weapon was recovered at the scene is now being tested for fingerprints and DNA. The department releasing the video as the investigation continues into the officer involved shooting. It's Protesters continuing to call for justice. Some say the video isn't so clear cut, the weapon not clearly visible in his waistband. It looks more like um, he was shot because he was fleeing and less of uh, that he was a threat. And so people are really hurt and, and really upset about this. Today we're going to be talking about that, how we move forward in uh, next steps from here and what we can do um, politically and just moving in a more strategic way. I decided to do was I had heard about a um, protest that um, was taking place at La, Pine La Pineresca Park by the Youth for Peace organization um, that was created by Jules and Sydney and I had went up there and I went up there with my brother and we marched from La Pineresca Park to Pasadena City Hall um, demanding justice and demanding demanding to be seen and demanding to be heard. So why don't you take the viewers through how to be an organizer as a high school student? Ooh, you want to answer this, Sydney? Because this is who set everything up. Basically, don't be afraid to put information out there and tell others to come to see you as in terms of setting things up. A lot of people nowadays feel like they're going to get laughed at or fun of for trying to do something in the community whether it be good or well yeah good and you just gotta take that step of just putting it out there and hoping that people will come to you and that you won't be put down by others. I remember as a little girl I would always see my dad getting pulled over and he wouldn't be getting pulled over because he had did he had done something wrong he had was, was getting pulled over because he was driving while black. I remember a lot of times they would take my dad out of the car and slam his head against the police car, handcuff him, and just interrogate him as if he was a murder suspect, as if he had murdered someone or he had robbed a house and he hadn't done anything. Police killed more than a thousand people in America in 2019. Black people are currently three times more likely to be killed by police and 99% of killings by a police officer between 2013 to 2019 have not resulted in criminal charges. The chief says the department has to be transparent for the community and McLean's family. We are part of, of what has occurred. We were the officers that shot that bullet that took their son's life. Uh, we are responsible and accountable for that event that happened. 